Yo guys, Eliza here of Yugatech and if you may have noticed, we have been making a few comparison videos head-to-head -head with Xiaomi's current finest mid-ranger, the Mi 9T. Now, we're going to put it up against one of Samsung's best mid-rangers, the Galaxy A50. Now, what's interesting about these two phones are their rather similar pricing as well as their popularity. And with that in mind, let's find out which one provides the most bang for your buck. Taking a good look at these two phones, they both have their own stunning and unique design, especially when you have the same variant as ours. The Mi 90 sports that flame-like aesthetic with the holographic ring around the camera, as well as the touch of red on the power button. You'll find its triple rear cameras and LED flash placed vertically at the back. Here we have it in the glacier blue color but there's also a flame red color with the same style. And there's also a midnight black option if you want something simpler. Either way, I think it's a very well thought out and unique design. On the other hand, the Galaxy A50 has a glistening back which reflects whenever it hits the light. Here at the back, you'll find its triple rear cameras and LED flash stacked vertically on the left side. We have the black variant on hand but you can also get it in blue or white. So both phones have good looking glass like backs except that the Mi 90 actually gets real glass. As you may know, the Galaxy A50 has a glass thick back panel which is an imitation of glass when it's really made from a glossy polycarbonate material. Also, take note that both of them are not exempted from being a fingerprint magnet. One thing I noticed is that both phones pack a 4000 mAh battery, but the A50 weighs less and feels lighter in the hand. Up front, you get a total full screen experience with the Mi 90 thanks to its mechanical pop-up camera that lights up and doubles as an LED notification light. Meanwhile, the A50 gets a slightly larger infinity use screen with a small teardrop notch. You can hide the notch in the settings menu if it bothers you and know that there's no LED indicator here. But just like other newly released Samsung devices, its notch gives off a small flare animation that activates when face unlocking or whenever you take selfies. Although both have slim bezels, aside from having an all-screen display, the Mi 90 has the added benefit of a smaller chin, making it look taller. Nonetheless, the two devices are equipped with an in-display fingerprint scanner. Now, located on the right are both their power buttons and volume rockers. There's no Bixby button for the A50 here and hey, we're not complaining. On the left, the A50 keeps a triple card slot for two nano SIM cards and a micro SD card. There's nothing here for the Mi 90. On top of each device, you'll find the Mi 90's pop-up camera and headphone jack. For the A50, there's only a secondary mic for speakerphone. Heading to the bottom, you'll find both their respective USB Type-C ports and speaker grills. There's also a headphone jack for the A50 while the Mi 90 keeps a dual SIM card tray. As subjective as design preferences go, personally, I'm going with the Mi 90 here since it looks more premium with an all-screen bezel-less look, real glass back, and fiery styling. Now, let's talk about display. The two screens offer the best experience with their 6.4-inch AMOLED displays with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 They both offer a solid viewing experience, but between the two, the Galaxy A50 gives out more vibrant colors and brightness by a slight difference. However, you won't miss the fact that the A50 has a small notch getting in the way compared to the full-screen experience the Mi 90 offers. Let's also take into account their protection wherein the Mi 90 gets Gorilla Glass 5 while the A50 is protected with Gorilla Glass 3. It's also worth mentioning that not all third-party apps in the A50 are compatible to fit spaces in the notch area, so you'll see a black bar showing up giving a smaller display. So for us, both have really great displays. The A50's panel is slightly better but come on, the Mi 90's all-screen front provides a better experience. Since we're already talking about display, let's not forget that both these phones sport an in-display fingerprint scanner. We've had issues with the A50 scanner before because we found it too slow but with the new update, it has improved. The Mi 90 is still a lot faster in both fingerprint scanning and face unlocking. And we found the A50's front camera struggling a lot under low light conditions. When it comes to audio quality, don't expect a lot from their mono bottom firing speakers. But do expect louder volume from the Mi 90. Thankfully, they're both equipped with a 3.5mm headphone jack so you can amp up your audio experience on the go. 
heading to software. Both run Android 9 Pie with their own skins which is pretty interesting as the Mi 90 has MIUI 10 with Game Turbo 2.0 and the Galaxy A50 gets One UI with Samsung's Game Launcher. They both have a straightforward good looking OS with a lot of customization, multitasking features and their own native night or dark mode. Plus, Bixby for the A50. Personally, I admire Xiaomi for having a second space feature that allows you to create two profiles in one phone. Nonetheless, we still find One UI refreshing and more immersive. So for us, it takes the cake. Alright, let's talk about one of their biggest differences, performance. Hardware-wise, the Galaxy A50 gets a mid-range Samsung Exynos 9610 with a Mali-G72 MP3 GPU, 6GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal storage that's expandable up to 1TB with the microSD card. Meanwhile, the Mi 90 is equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 with an Adreno 618 GPU plus 6GB of RAM and 64 or 128GB of internal storage with no option to expand. After different comparisons and gaming with these devices, I can say that they both deliver excellent performance but with a significant gap as you'll experience a few hiccups from the A50, especially with high graphic games. Using both for daily tasks like watching videos, social media browsing, messaging and calling feels like a breeze. Yet, it's a different story for gaming. Their respective game boosters help a little but you wouldn't think twice that the Mi 90 performs better and smoothly in maintaining frame rates compared to the A50 where you'll definitely see some lags every now and then. So looking at their benchmark scores, it reflects that the Mi 90 gives a heck of a lot more performance compared to the A50. Now for battery, keeping both phones running is a 4000mAh battery that charges via USB Type-C with an 18W charger for the Mi 90 and a 15W one for the Galaxy A50. So yes, the Mi 90 charges faster. The Mi 90 got a total of 14 hours and 23 minutes in the PC Mark battery test. But in the same battery test, the A50 got a total of 14 hours and 43 minutes, which is just a few minutes difference compared to the Mi 90. But for our regular video loop test, the Mi 90 got a massive 18 hours and 53 minutes, leaving the A50 with a total of 16 hours. Okay, those numbers aren't indicative of actual performance, but generally, both phones can last you almost a whole day. There's just really a slight difference in the numbers but it will all depend on your usage. Moving on to cameras, at the back, both devices boast a triple camera setup. The Mi 90 gets a 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 at f1.75 plus a 13 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide and an 8 megapixel f2.4 telephoto lens. While the Samsung A50 has a 25 megapixel f1.7 main, an 8 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel f2.2 depth sensor. As for that notch area and pop up camera, you get a 20 megapixel f2.0 lens for the Mi 90 and a 25 megapixel f2.0 for the A50. Okay, let's assess some sample photos. In these first two photos, we have some shots of wax using the rear cameras. As you can observe, the Mi 90 provided more natural colors as the A50's post-processing amped up the brightness and gave off a cooler tone. For portrait mode, you can adjust both their bokeh effects manually. And visibly in these photos, you get the same color qualities, with the A50 getting better subject background separation here. Now in these photos, you'll really notice the opposing color reproduction of both devices. We found the Mi 90 here more pleasing with warmer tones and better details. The A50 is okay but it kinda looks dull. For low light, both devices slightly struggled and in return they produced some noisy shots. However, in the Mi 90's attempt to create a clearer image, it now looks washed out compared to the A50. Here we have a set of night shots taken with the respective phone's AI modes. Obviously, they both look noisy but look at how the A50 put up more brightness without neglecting too much details. Unfortunately, the A50 doesn't have a dedicated night mode but it still produces good shots. So now, here's how the night mode of the Mi 90 does. It performs better than the A50 while still keeping its natural colors. Okay, for selfies, here are shots of Ira in their own standard modes. Weirdly, the A50 looks like it has some beauty mode going on even if it doesn't. Plus, her skin looks reddish. Meanwhile, the Mi 90 captured good natural colors with a wider field of view. Lastly, here are portrait shots of Miguel. 
Same deal with the last set of selfies. There's more post-processing happening with the A50, but this time we prefer it compared to the Mi 90 because there's not much editing you would want to apply. So for cameras, it's almost a tie because they have their own specialties, but I'm sorry A50, the Mi 90 wins here. Finally, let's talk more about price. Both phones have the same price with the same storage variants. That's 15,990 pesos for their 6GB RAM and 64GB storage variants and 17,990 pesos for their 6GB RAM plus 128GB storage variants. Okay, so when Samsung released the A50 earlier this year, we thought it had a really good price for everything it offers. But now that the Mi 90 is in the picture, it now suddenly looks more expensive. For the price you pay, it's clear that the Mi 90 is just a total bang for your buck by comparison to the A50. Xiaomi once again has wiped the competition clean, but we do hope Samsung comes around next time. So what do you guys think? Xiaomi Mi 90 or the Samsung Galaxy A50? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads. And be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Ali and I'll see you guys in the next one.